Northern Dynasty now claims they can build a mine for $4.7 billion with an NPV or return of $1 billion. Estimates of capital costs have been as high as $13 billion and Northern Dynasty has admitted they could be $7 to $8 billion. We have identified at least $1 billion missing from their current scenario. They fail to add the cost for the gas pipeline increase of 78 miles in length, adding $414 million in direct costs. They remove the cost of the molybdenum separation plant at $84 million when it is clearly still in the plans. They scale back mine costs when the required infrastructure is more than the old mine. Loading these direct costs with indirect and contingency costs adds another $1 billion to the capital costs and eliminates all of the potential returns from a mine. Post-closure reclamation and wastewater treatment will last for centuries, cost billions, and are excluded from MPV calculations by Northern Dynasty. Post-closure reclamation includes moving 250 million tonnes of materials at a cost we estimate at 386 million. Together with perpetual wastewater treatment, we put total post-closure costs at 1.8 billion and discounted back to the present wipes a further half a billion from the MPV. Northern Tennessee still has not produced a feasibility study to prove the mine plan is economically viable. Why? Tom Collier says they don't have the money. They have spent $1 billion on developing the mine and a feasibility study would cost $70 million at most. Why haven't they produced one? We believe it's because they know the outcome will be ugly. The mine can't make money. We believe Anglo-American exited the project in 2013 after sinking half a billion as they knew it could not make a return. Rio Tinto, the same, and that is why they gave their 19% share of the company to charities in 2014. The local charities promptly sold the shares as they did not believe in the mine either. First Quantum planned to acquire 50% of Northern Dynasty in late 2017 and dumped the deal just five months later. Major mining companies have run the ruler over the deposit and, like us, are clear it's not viable.